could be here. Durham police say juveniles are all connected to those cases, multiple cases in multiple cities. CBS 17's Galat Malamud is live for us tonight in Durham. Uh, you have had the chance to cover this story. These break-ins talk to a lot of people impacted by the crime. What are they saying about these arrests? Yeah, and some of the people we spoke to were actually victims of break-ins at this apartment building on Foster Street. Both of these buildings are two of the nine places that Durham police say the juveniles hit. Police tell me that the juveniles are responsible for dozens of break-ins and multiple car thefts, and that's what most of their charges are related to. I was concerned about my car, so but luckily it wasn't my car. Nashia Robinson was one of the lucky ones. Although many of her neighbors' car windows were all busted out, her windows were not. And my biggest fear is that they're going to come back. For a while, no one knew who was doing this. Now we do. Durham police say it's the work of juveniles. Investigators have filed petitions for nine juveniles they say are responsible for car thefts and break-ins across the city. One group is facing charges in connection to these five incidents, and the other group is facing charges for four incidents at these apartment complexes in southeast Durham. I'm shocked they were kids. I mean, they were very strategic kids. And it's not just Durham. DPD says both of the groups are tied to break-ins and thefts in Raleigh, Cary, Wendell, Chapel Hill, and Carborough as well. Last week, I asked Cary Police Sergeant Kenrick Alexander to explain what happens when police believe someone under 18 broke into a car. We identify those juveniles, we contact parents, and we release them back to their parents. But uh, you also follow up with juvenile petitions, which is the way that you charge uh, a juvenile with such a crime. The Durham Police Department says its investigators are working to place the individuals in secure custody. Robinson has an idea that'll help keep this from happening again. We need more com more programs, more community-based programs to help them so that they don't have to do this at night. You know, this is not a joke or anything. You know, these are people's cars. You know, people had to pay for the damage. So it's it's very sad. Police say that some of these juveniles also had petitions filed on them in Wake and Orange Counties. Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman tells me that, te that juveniles are responsible for upwards of 200 break-ins in Wake County. She says that as for punishment, if it really depends on their prior record. Live in Durham, Gilant Muhammad, CBS 17 News.